Hey fellow tennis nerd, this video deals with Dacor Rackets. Dacor is a new company that creates beautiful custom rackets. I've been following the brand closely and here is my Dacor Racket review. Ricardo Dacor is an entrepreneur. He decided to take on the competitive and complicated industry of tennis rackets. His idea was to create a um, racket that is highly personal so you're able to customize pretty much any part of your tennis racket. He built his own BYO, which is build your own program where you can choose up to billions of combinations. You can write your own signature, choose your color, bumper, grip type, stiffness, frame design, and a lot more. Uh, just by browsing the Docker website, you can't help but be impressed by all these options. Uh, I, this made me a bit skeptical in a way. Was this just purely visual exercise? I mean, how was the playability of the actual racket? That's the most important part. You don't just want a racket to hang on your wall. You want the racket that actually plays nice and improves your game and works for your tennis. So uh, I was a bit skeptical and um, uh, it's obviously tough to review a custom program because there's so many options. But the team at the core said they would create a racket based on the specs they thought I would like. So I wasn't really a part in choosing these specs. They just wanted to do it as a challenge to create a racket they thought I would like based on my reviews and the content out there on tennisnerd.net. And after a couple of weeks, they sent me the, the core tennis racket. And I must say, I was really blown away by the cosmetics. Looked brilliant and um, with the orange, white and black. Uh, it's obviously on the brand colors of Tennis Nerd, so I'm a bit biased. But most people I've talked to think the racket really looks spectacular and a bit different from the, what's out there on the market. So the looks for sure is very impressive and you have billions of combinations. You can choose whatever, really any pattern to your racket or color combination and you can customize your butt cap, the text on your frame and, and whatever. So if the visual part of the racket is really important to you, I suggest you really check out the core frames because I think they do a great job with the visual aspect of the racket. So when I held the racket in my hand, it felt really solid. Obviously he did customize it upwards to a heavier space. I got the K97S model in his line, which is a more of like Pro Staff 97 style racket made for aggressive players. A 97 square inch head size, 1619 string pattern, similar specs, a bit lower stiffness rating, so 65 um, unstrung that turns into 62 with strings. So, uh, pretty much something I would be interested in playing with. I like 97, 95, 98 square inch head size rackets mainly. So I think they chose the specs pretty wisely. The only thing that perhaps was a bit too high was the swing weight, which they measured at 347. I do like it around 330 up to 335, then it can get too heavy. But to be honest, um, when swinging this racket and playing with this racket, I didn't feel like it was too heavy. It felt really fast and whippy through the air, despite the high swing weight. So. They really did their job well here. Uh, they put silicone in the handle. It really feels like a high quality pro stock frame, which I think was the purpose. And I must say I was really impressed just after the first few minutes of hitting with this racket, despite my, my skeptical approach of uh, this just being more of a visual thing and not so much a quality racket. But I was proven wrong quite quickly, which I was obviously happy about. The core frames come equipped with uh, something called an NFC chip and you need an M NFC reader where you have um, each racket has its own uh, unique link with their specs and other information who was the guy who customized created the racket for you etc uh, so it creates kind of a truly a handmade experience you take your iPhone or whatever smartphone you have you you scan the chip and then you get the information and the link and when I scanned my racket with the NFC reader I got the following specs some of them I've mentioned already 97 square inches 1619 string pattern, unstrung balance of 32.6 centimeters, so it's gonna be quite toward, heavy towards the head, unstrung weight of 323 grams, strong weight of 341 grams, swing weight 347 grams, so quite hefty swing weight, beam width 21 millimeters, and uh, that's all throughout length, standard length 27 inches. The grip, si grip size, they chose an L2. I'm usually with an L3, L3, but I can play with L2 as well. Pretty nice feature with the NFC chip installed in the, in the butt cap and that you can you know, have your specs listed there on a website. And it's a um, pretty nice new touch that I haven't seen before. 
The racket came strung with a Dacor hybrid of two poly strings. They call them black and silver. It's a poly hybrid, the black in the mains and the silver in the crosses. I would deem the tension to be, have been around 23, 24 kilos, so 51, 52 pounds. Since I haven't played this string, I also re-strung it with Headhawk Touch at 51 pounds or 23 kilos, just to have some kind of point to gauge because you need to have a known parameter when you test a racket. If you have an unknown string and an unknown racket, you're not gonna know what affects what. So um, that's what I had to do after playing with the Dacor Hybrid for a while. So how does the Dacor racket play? Uh, well, it's, uh, I wasn't alone in testing this racket. In a way, I let a few other players that I've hit with try this stick and they were all quite positive about it. Even a picky play tester such as Nikki, who I hit with in this video said that he was positively surprised and really liked the feel of this stick. The racket came, as I said, with silicone in the handle. It has plenty of lead tape at 12 o'clock, so I can customize it downwards if I want. Really proper pro stock racket feel. I think I could hand this racket to Tsitsipas or Federer or a player who plays with a more aggressive style, and uh, I think they would be quite comfortable to play with this stick from the get-go. So it's a bit reminiscent of the Pro Staff RF97 autograph. Feels a bit faster through the air bit uh, thinner beam of course and the lower stiffness makes it a bit less powerful but um, you get a bit more control and comfort so I think those factors if you like the Pro Staff RF97 I think you'd really appreciate this racket because it gives you a similar kind of plow through and an impactful feel but not with that um, higher stiffness of the Pro Staff RF97. Somehow this racket really begged to be swung fast and hard uh, I don't really know why, uh, I just had this feeling from the get-go that I wanted to blast the ball and uh, the racket obliged, I hit some nice winners, especially liked it on my forehand which has been going a bit back and forth in style because I'm switching between semi-western and eastern grip, trying to find where I'm most comfortable. The weight and the smaller sweet spot of a 97 square inch racket makes it a bit more tri tricky to defend. But when I'm attacking, it really is a great racket to use. I really feel like I'm in control of the rally quickly and I can hit the ball as hard as I possibly can. Definitely a racket for the attacking player who likes to dominate your opponents. I did get one, as I said, that was customized to be a bit heavier than the normal K97S spec that they have on their website, but you can obviously be in touch with them. This is your racket, this is your custom racket that you choose, so you can get matched specs or get the kind of spec that you want which is a very nice benefit of this program. So I think it really offered a, as a frame uh, layup, it offered a really nice combo of combo of abilities, like a decent comfort, solid on impact, quite maneuverable despite the high swing weight, pretty powerful as well, especially nice on slice shots and when I'm hitting flat. So I was really impressed with this stick, it really felt like a weapon, it really felt pro stock style, which I think is a good thing, so I was enjoying it uh, quite a lot and I could see myself switching to this frame, perhaps with some tweaking, perhaps reducing the swing weight slightly and um, maybe lowering the stiffness a little bit because I like a bit less stiffness, uh, maybe down to 60, but I'm still comfortable but I'm not taking any chances at all uh, with, my, with my arm these days because I have had that tennis elbow and the uh, wrist problems uh, in my recent past. So this review left me very positive about the core and uh, this racket played way above my expectations. I thought I would be uh, slightly pessimistic and, but positive about the visual appearance and, and uh, the styling of the racket but I was positive all across the board. Um, if we look at some pros and cons of this K97S Dacor Tennis Nerd racket. The pros, it's very solid, it's precise, it's powerful, it's great for attacking players. You can really blast the ball and go for the lines with this racket with good confidence. When you look at the cons, it does have a smaller sweet spot. Uh, I must say, you do need some good footwork and it is obviously tougher to defend with. So it's not a racket for you who like to kind of pick up balls from the back of the court. This is for you who play more in a Tsitsipas, Federer, Del Potro, an aggressive um, style, maybe from the baseline moving into the net. Then this racket would suit your game really, really well. So I could definitely switch to this racket for tournament play. 
I felt it focused my game around my strengths, which is what I like, and made me attack the ball more, which comes quite natural to me. So if you do like the pro staff, 97 or perhaps the a la racket such as the you know prestige pro this is definitely worth to consider i definitely think this is a great product and i think it's going to be interesting to see how the core uh, makes its way through the tennis industry in the future it's not that easy to have a custom uh, built racket company it's easier to sell when you have a big retail model that you can get players to endorse and you you build marketing through that way but i wish him all the best because i really think he has uh, the heart in the right place and this product actually delivers on quality and looks so it's nice to see something new in the market i wouldn't say the frame is very innovative it's just a high quality frame with kind of pro stock style characteristics it ha comes ready to just be played by a discerning player and advanced players two thumbs up from me i really like this frame a lot and i will keep playing with it and uh, maybe customize it a bit more and see where i end up thanks for watching this tennis nerd review if you like this style of content i would very much appreciate if you tell your tennis friends and if you subscribe to the channel if you need help with rack recommendations or racket advice you can uh, use our service in the tennis nerd shop tennisnerd.net slash shop where you can fill in a form and you will get a pdf with uh, our racket recommendations could be also strings that would suit your game better i've received quite a lot of positive feedback for this service so far so and i'm really enjoying talking to tennis players and, and being in contact and trying to find the right setup for their game that's about it for now guys i hope you have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis Jonas, the tennis nerd, you can see him right there. I'm gonna test out the new Dakor tennis nerd racket. It has a really nice colorway. Playing around with the colors of the logo. I'm sure you've seen it. Hi, I'm Adrian. Nice to meet you. Gonna hit some balls. <laughs>